There is a theoretical maximum mass for a white dwarf called the Chandrasekhar limit of about 1.4 times the mass of the sun. It appears when you apply quantum mechanics and special relativity to electron degeneracy pressure. Above this mass, degeneracy alone cannot support the star against gravity. If accretion pushes the white dwarf close to this limit, its interior, made mainly of carbon and oxygen, can reach conditions where those heavier nuclei start fusing. Because the entire star is supported by degeneracy, that ignition also lacks a good pressure-temperature regulator. In one leading scenario, consistent with many observations, though not the only path nature may use, the outcome is a type Ia supernova. The whole white dwarf is destroyed in a single, global, thermonuclear runaway. The surprising twist is that even though these explosions are not perfectly uniform and their peak brightness can vary, their light curves follow patterns that let astronomers standardize them into practical distance markers, often called standard candles, which helped us map cosmic distances and discover that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. The calm glow of our sun and the violent death of a white dwarf are two outcomes of the same underlying rule, gravity and pressure.